The third brother, the youngest son, had picked up the challenge and returned from the faraway land with the miraculous medicine to heal the sea king. There was no way to grow up but to become a wanderer. There was no way to take the position at home but first to visit the unknown places. You could not take a role in a community without being exposed in the desert. You could not catch a deer but to follow it to the darkest woods. You could not become a wise prince without experience of shepherding the pigs. When you wouldn't run away yourself, they would take you to the army and you might never see your home again. When you wouldn't run for the pilgrimage, they would take you for a sailor and you might never see your home again. Since we build the cities with the walls we believe to belong to a square of the house, there is no city without a wall, and every wall has the doors for the caravan, every caravan leads to the coast, and every coast rounds up with the big port. Pirates are attacking the caravans, the armies are protecting the caravans. The armies are robbing the distant lands and the caravans are transporting slaves to sail them to the center of the empire. In the capital of the empire there is the great library and there is academia. But the knowledge you are up to is always elsewhere and the knowledge you gained is of no use at home until you move away. Aristotelus was walking to Persia and Rukpa Kunli was walking from Persia to Beijing and from Beijing to Bhutan. Buddha was walking from India to China and from China to Korea, from Korea to Japan. Sooner or later the knowledge that doesn't go walking will be exiled to the coast of the Black Sea. The messengers are carrying the codes on the secret path of knowledge. Secret is knowledge of weaving the silk. Secret is the map of the Silk Road. Weaving the web, the world wide web, webbing the world. Since the citizens of Laputa use the mobile phones, nobody can hitchhike to India anymore. By all the mobile phones on the world, we can only make it clear by the bomb to Iran. By all the TV and radio stations, we can only speak by the bomb in Kosovo. The bomb that takes off and hits precisely somewhere else. And after the war, we organize big public works, the citizens are building the roads, and as soon the roads are ready, there come mobile phones. The workers can buy their own cars and become free individuals riding the roads, moving their working force, searching for the jobs, for the same dirty jobs left over by Laputa. Laputa is designing the future by delivering its own impossible past to the rest of the world which is to follow. Space became the time of the past. The past delivers energy for the future. Laputa takes the energy, keeps the knowledge and returns the jobs from the past. Laputa sends the tourists and the managers, students of the academia can travel and research all the world by their liking. Google Earth shows the way, the shops and the restaurants hostels and hotels. Every place we are visiting becomes our past, museum of our old technologies. Every place we suck the energy from will become our here in energy and will stay isolated in own time and what will keep traveling is information. Citizens of Laputa 
only walk while talking on their mobiles with somebody who is elsewhere, so there is no reason to leave from here. Any place on the world we visit, it is the same here. Any place we travel to has the same old Google Earth in the Internet Café. Every Internet Café is marked on the Google Earth. Every child of the third world will get the same hundred dollars laptop to dream of the golden cities of Laputa. We will design their dreams, we will suck their brains, but we let no body in, only goods and energy can enter, and the birds if they don't have a flu. Our walls have no gates, there is no caravans to travel, all the slaves are left free to follow into the past, while Laputa is flying into the future. There is no peaks left for the prince to see the world upwards, wandering the same world which is always here will not make it for anybody to grow up. There is no surprise left, all places of Laputa are safe. The third brother, the youngest son, had picked up the challenge and returned from the faraway land with the miraculous medicine to heal the sick king. The sick king had died and the third brother had died, having only four lives left to win in the next round in the newest computer game.